Welcome back to Phil's Drone Zone um, and welcome to this uh, little title tutorial. I first came across uh, this title effect in a Motion 5 tutorial by Mark at rippletraining.com um, and if you already have Motion 5 I've included a link to his um, original tutorial in the description below and you can just jump over there and create it for yourself. However, if you don't have Motion then I've created a title you can use um, and you can simply download that and use it in Final Cut Pro to make this effect. The reason why this can't be done in Final Cut Pro is that it isn't possible to keyframe the preloaded titles in ZSpace. And this, as we'll see, needs to be published as a separate parameter. Um, so download the title, the download link is in the description, and then we will demonstrate how to apply it in Final Cut Pro 10. Okay, so let's get on with the tutorial. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my video clip loaded and I've got um, a couple of generators at either end of the video clip. Um, I've used a six second uh, generator which I've cut into two three second portions. I've used a blob um, generator which, and I've just changed the color scheme for the second part of the uh, generator and you can have these at any length or you can just use one generator, it's really up to you how you want to do this. So once you've installed the title, all you've got to do is go to where you've installed the title and incidentally if you need a tutorial on how to install plugins into Final Cut Pro, let me know in the comments below and I will do one for you. Um, basically now what we're going to do, once it, the, we've put the title on the top, we're going to change its blend mode to Stencil Alpha. And now basically we've got um, the title on a black background and the um, what's underneath is showing through. Okay, so having done that we're going to go to the first frame of the title and we're going to go to the first parameter behaviors tab there and you can see now that we've got the X, Y and Z um, parameters there which are keyframeable. So set a keyframe for all of them at the current settings and then decide where you want the effect to end, where you want the fly through to end, somewhere about there is good enough. And then now we're just going to uh, drag this through in Z space, we may need to alter it in X or Y um, and I want it to come through the R and there you go, that's perfect and once it's through then that's it, that's the job done. Okay, so if I play that back now um, basically what you've got is this really nice effect as it cuts through the different colors and then it will cut to the video clip um, and fly the title, you'll fly through the title and that's a really nice effect. Okay, to make it even nicer, just add a couple of cross dissolves. I'm going to make this one slightly bigger, about three seconds, and then that's it, it's finished. And you get this really nice, cool fly through effect. It's a failing of Final Cut Pro that this is not included, so now you can download this title and you can create this for yourself. Okay, to do the end one, just pop the title on again and line it up with the end of the generators. Um, we'll just rename this, we'll rename the title to the end, I guess. Oops, we need to put it all capitals. You need to choose a thick font for this so that it makes the fly through easier than, than some of these skinnier fonts. Um, in fact, I'm using Impact, which is a nice thick font. We'll position that and then we will change its blend mode to Stencil Alpha. And then we're going to go and find the end frame this time and we're going to keyframe, go back to our original published parameters and set the keyframe um, on the last frame of the title and then decide where you want the effect to begin and then as we did before we're going to move it through in Z space again you may need to adjust X and Y and yep that will do nicely and we'll just pull it through and that's it just add the cross dissolves as we did before and 
make the first one a little bit bigger, three seconds. And now basically what you've done is you've created the reverse process, which you can use at the end of a video that you're making. It's a really, really lovely effect, this. And, and I, th I feel cheated by Final Cut Pro that they haven't included um, one of these titles in their preloaded titles. So that's why I've decided to create this title for you. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, and download and install the title in the Motion Templates um, Titles folder. Um, I, I think it's a very beautiful title effect and I hope you enjoy using it as much as I do. I'll be back with a drone video in a few days time, so hit the subscribe button and click the bell so that you can be alerted when new videos are uploaded. Finally, I hope you found this useful and all that remains to be said now is see you in the next video.